earlier stages of the digital marketing course. So starting with the situation analysis and the market potential. So three key target groups for Cakes by Bernie have been identified. One is brides, two is households with children, and three is women aged 25 to 44. I'll go into more detail on those um, later on in the project. Then to look at the market in general and the occasional cakes market in Ireland is in growth stage at the moment, towards the latter end of that stage I would say. It has experienced quite a significant increase in the last decade, um, mostly driven by increase in customer needs, in particular the wedding cakes industry. There's also been a growth in the novelty cakes se sector which Bernie has seen through increased orders over the last few years. Offsetting that growth market is a trend in home baking whereby people are trending towards baking their own cakes and to save money um, in, in, with particular occasions. Um, that market has also grown and I've put in some research to back that up in the project. Then looking at the competitors, there are lots of bakeries operating similar service to Cakes by Bernie in Carrigal Cross. For the purpose of this project, I've identified two, McCommons Wedding Cakes and Cakestyle.net. They both operate websites, but they have basic functionality um, and they have social media pages as well. Um, again, not very active on social media and neither of these two are operating any kind of paid search at the moment. Um, another source of indirect competition is the occasional cakes section in retailers and supermarkets, which provides a more generic competition. Um, type of alternative to what Bernie service provides. Also examining the situation I've prepared a SWOT analysis which is on page 7 of the document that you have. Looking at the strengths that Cakes by Bernie has, um, I think she has very high quality products and a personalised service. She also has an unlimited product range so any cake that you would like prepared pretty much Bernie can do it. She has a loyal customer base, many of her business has been repeat business to date and her brand is well established in the area. She also provides excellent customer service and a commitment to excellence with her products. Some weaknesses I'm, I've identified are her low rank in the search engine optimization and also lack of social media activity. Um, her website also lacks some basic usability and functionality which I think could be a real benefit to her business. Um, and also she doesn't operate any kind of customer database, CRM or communication with her existing um, customer base. Then opportunities in the market, I think um, the rank in SEO is there for, for the taking in that there's no paid search and operation in the particular geographic region at the moment. Also e-commerce and ordering online through websites um, is, is an opportunity for all of the businesses. And similarly building a customer database and then serving relationships with those customers. Some threats which I've um, alluded to before are the DIY baking trend whereby people are baking their own cakes for particular occasions and then the lower cost alternatives in retailers and supermarkets. So then looking at the objectives that I've outlined for Cakes by Bernie, I think that the most important one is to generate leads. Um, another one, generate orders, um, create awareness of her brand, maximise the lifetime customer value and increase customer satisfaction. So for each of those objectives on page 8, I've identified some goals as well and um, KPIs with targets allocated to each one. And just at the end, I've identified the segments to which they're most appropriate. Regarding then strategy, um, Briefly, I've looked at the target segments in more detail. So, as you can see on page 9, um, there are characteristics identified for each one through brides, households with children and women aged 25 to 44, mostly surrounding their needs um, and their, um, some statistics around how often they celebrate and where those needs might apply um, for Cakes by Bernie's products. Um, the positioning that Bernie has in situ at the moment for Cakes by Bernie is delivering you your dream cake. And I would also reinforce this as Bernie's online value proposition, particularly as we move towards being able to order online and deliver you your dream cake through the website as a function by itself. through the strategy and the tactics 
associated with each one. Firstly, I'll take you through the acquisition strategy and where I see the most value out of this is in search engine optimization. So investing in a little paid for search for a brand new business. So I see this running with Google AdWords campaigns and specifically building campaigns for each market. Obviously monitoring Google Keyword Tool and Google Insights for search to see which words and which phrases are most associated with this market. And then that will allow for better keyword targeting and less budget waste. Um, I'd also build a more general campaign for um, cakes in the northeastern region and the counties that I've um, allocated earlier in the project. Um, and that would help increase rank for cakes by Bernie in Google search and hopefully generate more site visits. AdWords would be monitored weekly um, and campaign performance, keyword performance and search que query reports providing insights into which campaigns are rewarding the best and which maybe need to be tweaked or um, let go altogether. Um, obviously Google An An Analytics through the website uh, will provide key insights and tags will be set up as to where the most traffic is coming from um, and that will need to be monitored um, and I'd see building some dashboards with Bernie after a few months um, so that the key performance indicators can be identified and reports can be easily and quickly scanned um, in that manner. And just to keep an eye on the quality score as well and hopefully we would intend to build that over, over the six month period. Um, regarding organic search, I think that Cakes by Bernie should establish some links with um, similar businesses in the area, for example, florists, photographers, videographers, who provide services for the wedding industry, whereby Bernie can provide links to those services and in turn they can provide links back um, to Bernie and hopefully increase her rank in search with some or organically um, produced material. I'd also advise Bernie to produce some um, blogs and some video demonstrations, perhaps on a monthly basis, and upload these to her website and also share them through social media, um, just to encourage more links and um, more organic search, as I say. Social media then, I would target Bernie's customers with Facebook ads, which can be really deeply done through Facebook, um, and particularly in the geographic region and particularly for the wedding market and perhaps offering a chance to win your own dream wedding cake with Cakes by Bernie and set up a tab on her Facebook page to encourage likes and shares and build up a, a, a communications model with those potential customers. I would invest a small bit in display advertising also at the beginning to build awareness of Bernie's business, um, particularly on the sites that I've identified earlier, the specialist wedding sites, for example weddingsonline.ie, onefabday.com and rollercoaster.ie then for the mothers with children market. Uh, resources required um, for the acquisition element are detailed in the Gantt chart in the appendix later in the project um, and I would see working with a um, digital marketing executive on a part-time basis um, over 6 to 12 months um, eventually training Bernie up so that she can manage these particular elements herself. In the conversion element of this strategy, um, web design I think and functionality of Bernie's website is key in improving this element here. Um, I think an online ordering page is required on her website whereby by customers can place an order um, for a cake simply and easily and quickly through Bernie's website. I think that um, Bernie should have a, a pay method through her website. I, PayPal is the preferred payment provider here. Um, it's a secure online payment system. It's not hosted on Bernie's business website. It's easy to set up and it helps increase conversion. And while it doesn't accept credit cards, I would also advise that Bernie has a pay on collection model so that people could also um, have that option to pay when they get to the shop. Then collecting customer data on Bernie's website. I think there's a real need um, for collecting people's information um, and permissions, importantly, um, at the point of inquiry um, at the website. And this would help build Bernie's database. Also, um, a blog or demonstrations tab would need to be set up on the website so that anyone browsing the website can look back on previous blog entries or on videos that she's pre prepared before. And then integrating social media through her website is, is a real key and simple element just to link back to social media and likewise to the website from her social media sites. Um, again, I've outlined the budget here um, for a web designer and um, I recommend that Bernie does some sketching beforehand just to work through the user um, experience and make sure that it's as simple and easy and that um, conversion is, um, is, as, is as prominent as possible. 
in the retention element of the model then email and mobile marketing I see are um, really key here so once your correct permissions have been obtained from your customers I think Bernie should be communicating regularly with her customers whether it's through an email newsletter every month um, or a mobile marketing um, reminder service for example you provide an, a fifth birthday cake for Aaron this year um, you know his name, you know his age, and you know his date of birth. And you set up um, a reminder next year for that customer. Aaron's going to be six, why not order his birthday cake? Click now um, to order. And MailChimp, I think, and Phonovation are two um, providers um, of those services. And again, their budget um, and subscription elements are detailed in the Gantt chart. Regarding customer service, I think feedback from customers is really important, and Bernie could really learn from it and improve her service from it. Um, so a simple quarterly survey from SurveyMonkey um, could just give some, some real insights into Bernie's customers and maybe even provide some suggestions for her business. And then finally just integrating the online and offline activity. Um, I think all of Bernie's branded forms or business cards should include her social media elements and also um, link to her website. Um, and a small idea around Bernie's cake boxes, which aren't branded at the moment, is to print some stickers, perhaps with a QR code, um, leading directly to Bernie's Facebook page, whereby people who receive their cakes are encouraged to take a picture and upload it to Bernie's Facebook page, um, and just increase the, um, the awareness there and also um, the integration with Bernie's social media offline. Mm -hmm.